Hello, friends. I hope that the first couple of weeks of 2020 have been treating you well so far. In today's video, I am going to be using my brand new watercolor sketchbook by Arteza and my Mia Jelly Gouache. I recently did a review on the gouache, so feel free to check it out if you're curious about the paints. So the intention I had with this spread was to practice something out of my comfort zone, which is painting landscapes and environments. I thought it would be the perfect thing to work on while I chat with you guys about my art goals for 2020. So feel free to grab your supplies and paint along with me or grab a drink and a snack and let's hang out. So before we dive into my new year's resolutions, I'll talk a little bit about what I'm working on here. So back in 2015, I took a trip to Los Angeles and I finally uploaded all my photos from my old phone onto my computer and I had all these photos that I completely forgot and about. So I figured they would make for great references and inspiration for my work. And I picked out some favorites and decided to do some studies in my sketchbook. As you'll see later on in the video though, I inevitably gave up on one of the landscapes and ended up painting a portrait instead. This cute pink building that you see me working on here, I believe was a hotel uh, or something like that, that uh, I took a photo of near Santa Monica Pier. If you're familiar with that area and happen to recognize this building, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. It's been a while since I took this photo. So my first goal for this year is to put more focus on my YouTube channel and upload more videos consistently. I had started my channel last year, but was pretty sporadic when it came to uploading. And while I don't have a concrete schedule just yet, I'm aiming to have at least two videos a month. And speaking of, thank you so much for the amazing support on my last video where I did my review on the jelly gouache. I was not expecting such a huge response. It really boosted my channel and it makes me really excited and motivated to continue creating content on here for you guys. And by the way, feel free to let me know in the comments what types of videos you wanna see from me. I know I keep mentioning tutorial videos and I swear I will do them. Those types of videos are just going to require more planning and I really wanna make sure I do it well. Uh, I'm thinking to start, I'll probably do a video on how I draw faces and then probably a video on how I paint skin with watercolors. I feel like that's something that I get asked a lot on Instagram. So if there is a specific type of tutorial that you wanna see, let me know in the comments. My second goal is to make more merchandise. Last year, I had released my very first enamel pin designs and acrylic keychains, which was really exciting. I love seeing my work in different formats, so I definitely plan to branch out into more designs and I hope to also do some embroidered iron-on patches as well. My third goal, which is in direct relation to this video, is to actually keep up with a sketchbook or two or three or four. <laughs> um, something that I'm sure many of you relate to is that because I currently still work a day job, my time spent creating art and running my art business is quite limited. So I feel the need to optimize my art creating time by working on really polished pieces so that it can be posted to Instagram, made into prints or products, etc. And so I think this need to create perfect pieces one after another has stunted my growth as an artist in a way because this line of thinking doesn't really give me room to experiment or take risks. So hopefully with this new sketchbook, I can start exploring uh, different subjects and uh, improving my skills. This circle study that you see me working on now was from a photo that I took in downtown LA of a street lined with palm trees. It was super cliche, but I couldn't help myself because we don't have palm trees here in Toronto, so I couldn't resist in indulging them. My fourth goal, which again, perfectly relates to this video and my previous goal, is to branch out of my comfort zone. 
ultimately, I want to create more elaborate illustrations. And in order to do so, I need to practice painting more environments and objects and generally experiment more so that I can push my art style further. For a long time and still to this day, I have been really intimidated by intricate or more involved backgrounds. And I think the main reason for this is because it's something that I avoid, avoided so much. And whenever I do tackle a background, it seems so daunting to attempt. And the irony of this sentiment is that I was pretty frustrated while working on the sketchbook page. And I'd gotten so comfortable with portraits and people that anything else just takes me so much longer to get the hang of. And admittedly, I gave up on the second study and just went straight back into my comfort zone. But thankfully, I stuck it out for the first study. And while I was in such a sour mood when I was working on it, I'm glad that I did. And I hope that I can continue working on more studies like the building in the future. Uh, but, you know, when you're in a bad mood, sometimes it's okay to just go back to your tried and true which for me is painting portraits of pretty ladies. But I will say the beauty of me diving into this YouTube channel is that it allows me to justify these studies and experiments because I want to be able to share my process and journey with you guys. Plus in keeping a sketchbook where it gives me room to take risks and loosen up, Ultimately, it will strengthen my skills and will carry over into my more finished pieces down the line. But just as a friendly reminder to myself and to you guys who have similar art resolutions, I think it's important to strike a balance between doing these studies that are out of our comfort zone, but not to the point where you're totally miserable. Because at the end of the day, even if I end up falling back into my usual subjects like what happened here, it's better that I created something rather than just giving up out of frustration, which I was ready to do with that palm tree study. I was so angry when I was trying to work on that piece, but maybe I'll try it again at a later date, but... For now, I am low-key triggered by palm trees. <laughs> you probably can't tell from the video since it's sped up so much, but I felt so much more at ease painting the portrait than I did with the landscape studies. All my feelings of frustration and inadequacy just kind of melted away. And if you see in my previous video where I did a full portrait using these jelly gouaches, I actually did have a really hard time with them, even though I was painting a portrait. I think maybe perhaps when painting unusual skin tones, it just allows you to focus on the values rather than worrying about whether or not the colors look quote unquote realistic or natural. So if you have a hard time painting skin, maybe you can practice with painting some aliens. I don't know, maybe it'll help. Also, I did throw in uh, some Posca marker bits in this piece as well, because why the heck not? Oh, and I'd also like to mention, this was my first time working in the Arteza watercolor sketchbook. I definitely plan to do a dedicated video reviewing it, but I think I want to try a few different mediums in it first. But upon first impressions, it's not my favorite watercolor sketchbook that I've tried. Uh, I haven't even used watercolors in it yet. The main reason for my hesitation on this sketchbook is it does not handle washi tape at all. The paper surface got totally shredded and now I really regret having taped off the second page in advance. But again, like I had mentioned earlier, I will be experimenting with it more and I will try to be optimistic about it. Cause other than the tape ripping up the paper, it did hold up lots of layers of gouache, which is a good sign. But yeah, I uh, kind of steered a little off topic, but those are my main art goals for 2020. 
Did you make a list of things you want to work on artistically this year? If you did, let me know in the comments. And if you are interested in more in-depth tutorial videos, I do have a Skillshare link in my description if you want to try it out for two months totally free. Anyways, I hope you have an amazing year. Whatever your goals are, I believe in you. We got this. So until next time, bye-bye for now.